As calls mount for DFL Representative John Thompson to resign, the House GOP says it's ready to file an ethics complaint against him. Thompson faces several accusations of domestic violence dating back to 2003. Thompson denies the allegations. WCCO's Caroline Cummings brings us the latest in the controversy swirling around the first-term lawmaker from St. Paul. And we're talking about one representative. We heard from Governor Tim Walls on Monday for the first time since he called for Representative John Thompson to step down from his seat in the state capitol over the weekend. Other top DFL leaders in the state have similar pleas. Thompson faces allegations of domestic violence, some abuse detailed in police reports as happening in front of children. I just want to be clear, the, the information that came out over the weekend involving multiple uh, accusations, cases of, of domestic violence um, in the presence of children um, just makes it so that I do not believe that the representative continues to serve as well. It's my belief that once you get to a point where you're no longer effective or you're hurting the cause, it probably makes sense to move on. Thompson faces allegations of domestic violence detailed in police reports from Egan, St. Paul, and Superior, Wisconsin, dating back to 2003. Thompson denies all reports and through his lawyer told WCCO, quote, he challenges the authenticity of the police reports. He was never convicted of any assault charges and says he won't resign. Well, I think it would be very very unusual for five different and three different police departments stretching over a decade to um, to fabricate information. House Minority Leader Kurt Doubt says the GOP will file an ethics complaint against Thompson if the House doesn't take action on its own to hold him accountable. If the Ethics Committee recommended this action following a complaint, the House could vote to remove Thompson by a two-thirds majority, power given to them in the state constitution. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. Minnesota DFL Party Chairman Ken Martin told WCCO that while the party has a, quote, extensive research operation on candidate vetting, it does not devote resources to reliably Democratic districts like Thompson's. Martin, who also called for Thompson to resign, said that the party is reviewing procedures in light of the allegations.